Ted Nelson is an American sociologist, philosopher, and pioneer of information technology, but he prefers to call himself a philosopher and a filmmaker since he believes that the computer fields needed ideas that came both from his philosophy and filmmaking experience. In 1963, Nelson coined the term hypertext, which is a new construct for a world of personal computing and electronic documents. In addition, Nelson has spent 40 years developing his biggest project, which is an implement for hypertext called Xanadu. It still isn't completed. The history of hypertext started in 1945 when Vannevar Bush wrote an article, As We May Think, which introduced a futuristic device called Memex, a microfilm-based device for storing a person's books and records. Memex would allow users to consult their collected information and share their knowledge quickly. Bush's augmenting human memory concept convinced Nelson that emerging information technology could extend the power of human memory. Nelson focused primarily on the humanities. He received a BA in philosophy in 1959 and a master's in sociology from Harvard University in 1963. In 1960, he took a computer course and began to think about writing a document management system to index and organize his notes. Starting in 1963, Nelson developed a model for creating and using linked content and called it hypertext, with which readers could follow links and reach the original document from a quotation without limitation to any particular order. Nelson believed computers would enable people to write and publish in a new nonlinear format. In 1967, Nelson named his hypertext Xanadu, which means a magic place of literary memory. Xanadu consisted of a worldwide network that allowed information to be stored as connected literature. Xanadu's system would assure the identity of documents, references, and solve the problems of configuration management and copyright control. The owners of the documents would automatically be paid electronically for the virtual copying of their documents. It would create the first global hypertext publishing system in the history of the computer industry. In 1968, Douglas Engelbart first demonstrated a hypertext interface to the public. In 1974, Nelson laid down the foundation for a communications theory transcending text. Hypertext became hypermedia. Imagery and sound played roles equal to text. In the summer of 1979, Nelson and his followers tried to make Xanadu a reality, but he delayed its release for rewriting the program. In 1982, Nelson coined transclusion, which is the inclusion of a document or part of a document into another document by reference. In addition, the transcluded content won't be changed. Transclusion is more about reusing content within multiple versions of a document than it is about connecting content between different documents. In 1983, Nelson used hyperlink to describe a page linking system that would interconnect related past pages of information regardless of where they were stored. In 1987, Nelson outlined that Xanadu would include hyperlink. Hypertext has affected people's thinking by creating the concepts of multiple interconnected texts and nonlinear approaches to reading documents. In 1987, Apple introduced HyperCard, which allowed users to construct webs of links within their personal computers. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee produced a hypertext-based system that allowed data sharing functionality among team members. Tim Berners-Lee's invention, World Wide Web, was a flexible and easy-to-use format for sharing information over the Internet. Nelson believes that Xanadu's best features, unbreakable links, transclusion, and royalty micropayments should be used on the web. However, some claim there are disadvantages of Xanadu. For example, users would get lost in the ocean-like information and misinformation easily and lose their sense of direction and location when they moved around with the documents and links. Especially, users must maintain several tasks with concentration at the same time. Another disadvantage of Xanadu is that it requires too much control from users. 
Although people may think that Xanadu is impossible to be achieved, Nelson never gives up developing this project. Xanadu allows a highly complex level of linked data and has profound impact on programmers throughout the personal computer and internet revolutions.